and if you're, you're not blocking the, um, like, stop holding the, like, stop blocking it, it's like a third thing. What? Like, see how you got it down there? So I will have the
I'm gonna try to take it instead of that jumping at the bottom. But also I do need I need to find a way for me to stand on the Yeah. Yeah, I was kinda just I was kinda doing that earlier. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just gonna hold it So I, I like that, but I feel like it needs something. Like, so, my, my, my mate, the biggest problem I have is jumping on the ship. It's... I know, that's my job. It's going feel that way. You can go to reality and not actually make something like that. I mean, potentially, it's not worth it. It's cool, like, it's just like fighting against the show. It's still bad. Velvet. There are situations where, like, Velvet. I can't jump in a minute because he's going to but when you identify the places where you can do it, you really have to find to do it. It's really all this. It's like, yeah, I can, I can hit you with like, you know, eight no or something like that. There you go. You can get it in my time. I smash when I suddenly got in the car. I was supposed to do it like in the end of the day. And so you didn't do that. So that is the whole reason I did that. It's good. Stuff like that is a hard way to get out of the way. So, uh, two ways you have to you really do have to work on it. Okay? But that just means you can push that. If you just take a 2D, you're going to kind of get that 2D. That's what it is. It's like you can design it as a complete toolkit, except for the first one. Yeah, our strength is five dollars for one thirty-three. The risk reward is so he can make you feel like there are no answers. Reality is. Okay, is a move risky if it hits one hundred percent of the time? No, it's not. That's how Zod has to play. He has to guess right on the game. If that count, if you do two D, I'm like fuck. I don't have burst, I'm, I might be dead. You got you got 50% meter, and it's like, I'm just gonna do 2D. When he picks him in a little dash, count it I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, or you just like, um, I feel like that's a separate doesn't like move it. I mean, Right, or if you uh, go into the, the dust converter, I can just burst out of that. Well, I, I get that that's the idea. You got this. You got to get used to blocking that a lot and being like, it's okay. It's not going to kill me. You can throw into like old games. Old games? It's like opened up every single time by the, uh, the third hit of the uh, jump in, or just like jump in into low. I yeah. Hit by the low. So like, or, or, I know, and if you get hit, if you get open up twice in a row, you start to freak out a little bit, right? Like it's like, oh fuck, I'm gonna die, right? Just relax. Okay. Yeah. Don't hurt Steve up all the time too. Shit's not easy, and I'll still lose, right? Because the thing is, I'm probably not gonna kill you. You can mix up. You get so much burst back. All you have to do is make sure you're winning burst. It's not hard to get there. So what, what are the absolute? Best place to burst, other than the side, side dust. dust. Side dust? Other than um, side dust. I know that. Honestly, I would burst on, but not predictably. If you could counter hit with no meter on the ground, okay? Burst. Yeah, okay. It's not because it hurts so much. The damage is great, right? But I think it's like, Zato is kind of always too much take away from you anyway. Right? So it's like, oh, that's great. I think is the stun value on the counter hit of the 6 meat combo wow. is absolutely unique. If you get hit again, you will. Yeah, if you get counter hit again, you will. And you're teching in the air, you're like, oh, I'm like, no, I'm hitting four heavy, and you're gonna die, right? But it, that's the thing, you counter hit by that little bit of burst, you get a big combo, you are literally one impatient mistake away from it. That is, that's terrifying. You burst, you don't do it in a predictable way, like always on the jump.
cancel mode, that kind of thing, don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Wait for like, a split second. A, a lot of people don't want to. Um, because that 6P has high swing value, and it's like the flip is very not in the top of the problem, right? So a lot of people are like, oh. But if you burst as the 6P starts to come out, that's a good spot to do. Because 6P's got multiple Right. Are you going with both hits on the combo? So if you're hitting with the first hit, the No. I will jump cancel. If I, if I smell a burst, I'll jump cancel. Do it as I'm swinging. As I'm swinging. Because like the full screen you have all day, right? There's no hit stop weirdness is gonna stop your burst. As soon as you push the button, it's just gonna come out. Right? So just do it as I start to swing. Then you also just wait for five minutes. Just expect it'll come so long. Push the magic point on it. And it's yeah, like, yeah, especially if you get opened up right away, and I don't have meter to read cancel because it's like that. It's fucking over. Right? And if you get. It's not always about guessing right on the auto. It's learning to take away things that you think are powerful. So, like, when you give away burst points for free, because you think strategically it may not be a good idea, no, that's something against them you always want to do. And that's part of what makes them worse than a lot of characters. Because you can even put those hands in the you stop. And if I open them up again, depending on, especially if I hit you low, just watch how much burst you get back. When I hit you. It's like Rambo Bone. It's crazy, yeah. It's a it's a huge amount of burst, right? Before the Malaru. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that scales a combo level. Yeah, why? What setup? No, because I have work. Oh, I'm trying to get out of here without having work. Velvet! Oh shit. Can you move the chair to the left? Can you move the chair that way? Can you move that chair that way? Yeah. I really have to go. You can you can report. I'm going guys. This is not like Yeah, I'm going to 